Good, today we're talking about nutrition and liver diseases and Matthias, you're the, the, the expert in this field. Um, so for which part of the liver disease you, you see the most nutrition, who, who are the patients who are the most uh, benefiting from nutrition in liver disease? These are patients with chronic liver disease. Chronic liver disease is a disease that by itself already is very frequently associated with malnutrition. These, pa these patients suffering from a long-standing chronic disease, disease leading to cirrhosis, they have severe protein malnutrition and they have an enormous loss of total body protein, their muscle mass is reduced and as a consequence of malnutrition and poor liver function, they have by far too much water in their body. So, if I get it right, you're talking about this, this, chronic, this patient with chronic liver disease, with chronic liver cirrhosis, have a protein malnutrition, have a low, low muscle mass. So, is there any specific um, nutritional intervention that can, can be done for them? You're correct, these patients have severe protein depletion and basically treatment is very easy because we have to make sure that these patients receive adequate amount of energy and that their, their provision of protein is high enough. And here is a historical problem because for the last three to four centuries doctors were brought up that patients with chronic liver disease should be recommended to eat a protein-restricted diet. And it's very, very obvious that this is the dilemma. We have a patient who is protein depleted and formerly a protein-restricted diet was recommended. This cannot work. Nowadays we know that the patient with liver cirrhosis has higher protein requirements than the normal population. So these patients if anything, should eat more protein than other patients. But this is, if I get you right, it's a complete reversal of dogma. Because as you and I, when we are in medical school, we have been taught stay away of protein of patients in, in liver cirrhosis. What was the cause at that time and why do we change this, this uh, dogma now? Right. This is a change in paradigms, exactly as you said. and the recommendation to restrict protein in cirrhotic patients is a result of a very well published case series from the UK in which it was shown that patients with a very unique situation with their liver cirrhosis were prone to develop hepatic coma if they received higher amounts of protein but that was in times when ammonium chloride was used as a diuretic. And so the things have changed completely. Nowadays we have different diuretics and in a number of controlled trials it could be shown that patients with liver cirrhosis actually benefit from a protein-rich nutrition and that the risk of encephalopathy is even lower in these patients receiving high amounts of protein. So. The point now is we have a high protein rich diet and we should pr deliver enough uh, calories to the patients. Is there anything in addition we can do for them in terms of nutritional uh, support? Not so very much, but, this is, but we have to achieve this, this goal. And this may not be so easy in many patients because uh, just these patients with liver cirrhosis very often do not eat up their, the portions they are served. So when you take great care and watch how much of the food goes out of the room again, you see that many patients eat half or even less. So we have to make sure that the recommended amount of food and protein actually comes inside the patient. And in this situation, it has been very helpful to use tube feeding just to ensure that these patients receive adequate amounts of protein and energy. In addition, patients with chronic liver disease very often have trace element deficiency and vitamin deficiency. So trace elements like zinc and a multivitamin preparation should be provided liberally.
So we say thank you for the audience. This is thank you.